Hello. In the last video, we well, the last main video, we looked at making sprites and then implementing them. And today we're going to look at potions, um, player buffs. The uh, the first thing that I'm going to try and do is just sprite out a a um a potion sprite. I'm thinking about making just for sort of ease, like a super speed potion. Um, so I'm thinking by design, a little lightning bolt going across the screen and then, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I'll send you my word From the corners of my room Let's um, export it. Rename this now to Super Speed Potion, I think. So let's make a new super speed potion dot cs let's copy this in change this to super speed potion this potion grants super Speed. Um, and I want to add as a recipe bottled water one. So I think that just works by default. It's one. I want to add fire blossom five and fallen star ten. Workbench, this. I don't want it to be workbench. Let's see if just alchemy table works. Um, can we recompile? Ooh, we can. By the looks of things. Single player. Is the super? Oh, it is. Super speed potion, lovely stuff. And oh yeah, crafting it, crafting it. If I get an alchemy table, and then what was it? Fire blossom. We needed fallen star and bottled water. Can I now craft this? I can, okay, brilliant, super speed potion. I decided to just quickly make a, you know, a change. I got rid of the black border and just made it look somewhat more like what was there before or in the game already. Right, so before we actually make our buff, um, there are some values we want to, uh, some default values that we want to give the potion. Like in the Feeble Rod, we had, and the um, Progressive Knife, we had damage, melees, true, knockback values, all of this. We don't want that on the potion. Um, so these are the values we're going to want. Um, it's, re it's definitely important that we have the buff type, um, the time it lasts for. Um, 
the U sound, well, the U sound, you can obviously have whatever you want, but this one will be the drinking one that I won't try and replicate. And um, the uh, U style. So U style, buff type, buff time. Make sure we have those. And to give it the specific buff, which we haven't made yet, but I, I will have named it super speed buff. We do mod content dot buff type buffs dot super speed buff. Now the reason it's buffs dot is because we're going to make a new folder called buffs, and inside of there will be our new folder called super speed buff dot cs. So we can just again copy over this very simple and super speed buff um, we don't need a set static default so we can get rid of it um, we are going to set some defaults so but we'll, we'll just get rid of them all for now and we also aren't going to be adding recipes get rid of it there is one method we are going to be doing which is new and it's called public override void update which takes in a player and a reference int buff index so this is what we do to the player once we take the buff and this just sets the default values now the default values we want are display name did I spell that wrong? no I haven't display name dot set default and we're going to call it a speed buff and then again description dot set default Ooh. grants plus a hundred speed because it is super speed um, we want to do main dot buff no time display type is false and we want to do main dot debuff type is also false this is um, for um, when you go to the nurse to cure debuffs if this is true it will the nurse will, will um, cure you so if you're making uh, a debuff potion or something like that this will be true but this is a this is a buff potion so we don't want it to go now finally um, there's a good website called oh, I'll link it in the description which has all of the player class properties and if we search for speed we can see that there's move speed which is a float and that's what we want to update. We want to update move speed. So if we go to player dot move speed plus hundred, this will then grant a plus one hundred speed. The last thing we need to do is get a little PNG which will appear in the top left in Terraria when this buff is active. Um, one last thing that I forgot to say, because we copied over the code from the super speed potion item, there are a few things we forgot to change. First of all, mod buff, um, instead of mod item, because it's a buff. Next, the namespace is changed from dot items to buffs. And last, we need to implement some mod libraries, Terraria and the Microsoft XNA framework. Okay, so I've just downloaded the buff template PNG from the T mod loader GitHub, and I'll, again, I'll link it. 
and I've opened it up in Pisco. Load. Let's chuck that in here. You rename it to obviously super speed buff and that now it should Terraria should compile the mod should com compile oh no do you see what the problem is buffs folder is outside for some reason so if I move it out there we go it should now hopefully compile there we go so we've now got our potion we can take it but it doesn't work I've found the problem I've commented out <laughs> the buff basically on the potion so in the super speed potion we'll just get rid of this and we can go back much sources build and reload we can take potion and there we go it works it's not necessarily super speed though so a hundred speed doesn't seem to do much I'm thinking I'm thinking 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 perhaps 500 Right, yeah, let's see. There we go, I think that's a little bit faster. You can always tinker with the values. But yeah, thank you very much for watching again, and um, hopefully see you in the next one.